Hi folks, I'm Josh and welcome back to Cyber Vagina? Maybe, anyway, it's the uh, arse end of day four. We are ready to go home. Denu is back from fixing the TV. Something. Those damned cats moving the internet onto our oh, internet antenna. Sorry. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, Gil. Some guy said I should tell you that the bunny is late. Whatever that means. Oh shit. Boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as <laughs> This- Why are you so mysterious and weird? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> He's such a, a doofus. That everyone's like, cool, see you later. <laughs> Shouldn't we be worried? Think of him as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention and everything will be easier. <laughs> Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah, he'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that didgeridoo to- No, 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 we don't want to work with that noise. Oh, hello. Newscaster, this just in. News? This hour? <laughs> I don't know what the- is, This is supposed to be like, like a late night bar. I know that much, but the lateness? Question mark. Bunny, bunny question mark. I don't know. Anyway. The Apollo Trust Bank has locked its doors, leaving around 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning, the bank. Damn, that's rough. Ah, hello, Jamie. Hey! It's what's-his-face from Deus Ex again. Ja Jamie from Deus Ex. Jamie and Jill sitting in a tree. C Y B E R I N G. Because he's got implants. You see. Uh, did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? No. The news flash just ended. Sounds like this. Uh, like things got ended. Uh, ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people are unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> I forgot his- I forgot his voice. Honest. I just- <laughs> Just stormed off just a minute ago, though. I see! I guess the buddy was late. Fuck, <laughs> what? He definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Coming right up. Oh, we got this wrong last time, I think. Right? We give him a Moon Blast or something? I'd blast his moon. <laughs> because... I, I, actually, I wouldn't like him to moon me. He's probably got metallic buttocks. One, two, three, four, one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. Ah, no! Hello, <laughs> whoa. Poor choice in uh, lettering and... Uh, anyway, let's... Let's try that again. What did I get wrong? One pound of delta. For oh, did I only put one comma train in? Blend it. Cool. Mars blast. Yeah, this is the one. Mars blast always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? Then again, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. Yeah, can't believe I, I myself. So much porn. <laughs> I kind of regret and also don't regret naming the the first episode of Streaming Chan VR Porn. Uh, uh. <laughs> but there was VR Porn talk in it, so it's not incorrect. Honest. It's just kick clickbait. Uh, hey, who's this girl? Hey, who's this girl? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She used to be streaming her life 24-7. I'm guessing her equipment's still running. You might want to watch what you say. Thanks for the advice. Changing the subject, have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? I heard that the Sumit Sonic drone was undergoing tests and lost its course. That might be it. Ah. Uh. Hey boss, the explosions are caused by supersonic drones. That sounds better than firecrackers. Well, we've been trying to figure out what they were all day. Ah, oh, I see. Sonic booms are not, uh, not sounds people can normally identify. And this one drone made a lot of noises when breaking the sound barrier. Uh, isn't this an area to test- Is this an area to test that kind of stuff? 
It's not, which makes the whole thing quite suspicious, almost as if he got it wrong. Huh. Man, if only Gil were here to sh uh, hear that info. He thought they were gunshots. Are you worried about him? Sort of. He always leaves with, without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. I'd be lying if I said I'm not worried, but at the same time, I just kind of wish uh, I'd kind of used to it. Uh, he can he can be a troublesome man, huh? Sometimes. So, do you think the people in the bank will be all right? This isn't the first time a bank has closed that like this. There, but something is off about this. Off? How? I don't know, maybe it's the hour, maybe it's the fact that the news is still making an unusually big stink of it. Oh, is that related to, uh... Ah, oh, damn it, I entirely forgot the name of the thing we were talking to the the, the, the private detective about earlier. The thing we, we knew that not everyone knew the, about news people were, were not saying... I can't remember what it... Honestly, I completely lost that that particular story thread. Anyway... That, that newscaster is, it's got gorgeous locks of hair. Hmm, nice. Let's hope, uh, I'm just think overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? <laughs> A girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to that bank. It's not like, uh, like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but never mind. Do you want something else? Yeah, I could, whoop. I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Keep it simple. Beer's popular in this uh, particular establishment. I wonder why. I like beer. I like good beer. I am a fan of lager on like hot days, but most of the time it tastes, tastes like sugary piss. On the other hand, it, it like I said, it can be cooling, but I don't know, like a good ale with like hoppy flavor. Like there's a really good pub uh, near me called Brewdog. It's a chain of pubs and they do like specialty beers, like hipster beers, uh, basically. Uh, and it's really, really tasty because they have like peach flavored beers and fruity stuff and then other weird, unusual things. And like they have a 35% beer. And I think it's called Sink the Bismarck because there was another beer made by a different company called the Bismarck that was previously the most alcoholic beer and I can't remember whether this was Sink the Bismarck or something else by them but they served like limited editions in a uh, squirrel taxidermy like a bottle a glass bottle coming out the mouth of a uh, of a taxidermied squirrel I've never. Tr I've, I've tried the really alcoholic stuff, and it just tastes tastes like kind of whiskey like. I don't know. It's it's odd. Very strong flavor, kind of smoky and stuff. Anyway, I once read that beer played an important part in, part in humanity's history. It is. We love it. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, people used to get paid in beer, and also because it's got lots of like sugars in it, people used to just drink it for energy and also because water was um, uh, generally not clean but fermenting it made it clean history I might have gotten wrong <laughs> anyway I'm familiar with the theory it's an interesting one the gist of it is that brewing was an important part of society during its development doing so ubiquitous while feasting they helped foster bonds and build factions faction alliances this is not where I was going with my particular tidbit but uh Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. Yay! Nah, just enough. Jill, have you ever thought about brain uploading? Is this a thing? That's kind of cool. I was thinking, what's the point of uploading yourself if you're still here? Let's say you upload yourself and effectively that new someone's in cyberspace, you will still be here. Uh. Wouldn't it be weird to know that there's a you that's not you somewhere else? This, okay, if you're interested in like reality bending and consciousness transference, there is an amazing book by one of my favorite authors and the, the book is called Surface Detail and it, it goes into like sci-fi versions, uh, not like 
uh, cyberpunk like this, but like proper sci-fi. It's so cool. Um, and it, it explores that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, uh, that's an interesting point. Personally, I would much rather have a me brain like... I, I imagine it like the, the Harry Potter thought extraction spell stuff with the, the sink. <laughs> and, and thoughts going down a drain. I think I think that's abusing and also possibly how it would work. You just like that. The music stopped. Cool. Awkward. <laughs> Imagine if your cyber cell space found out about the real somehow. Hell, imagine talking to your other self. Because yeah, that's a good point. Because at some point, the experiences of you and the experiences of other you would diverge, and you'd probably become slightly different. It would be interesting. I'd quite like to do it, though. I would love to experiment with that kind of stuff. Exposing each one to different scenarios to see how they develop. Uh, and I bet psychiatrists and psychologists, because I don't know the difference, would love to see that kind of thing happen. Just, just for experimental reasons, I suppose. I guess it is kind of heartbreak, uh, heartbreaking in a way. Imagine someone with illness uploading their brain into it into the ether, only to find out their physical bodies are still alive and here instead of living in a place where there's no disease. I remember an article from a while back about the earliest forms of brain uploading. It would scan the brain in such a thorough and intense manner, it would effectively kill the person. Whoa! So you'd have to dedicate yourself to uploading a brain. Wow. It used to, in uh, it used the words, burn the brain. Oh my god. All for nothing because the data would be corrupted. Oh no! No. Okay. I would like to be in the second wave of brain uploading, please. Uh, so other people can have disgusting, horrible, uh, Frankenstein esque mess, up, mess ups. And I don't have to worry about that. They halted all brain uploading research after that. I think they've started with another project about living brains in jars or something about after that. That subject interests you, huh? It makes for a nice time, a time sink when I'm doing nothing. Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. Same here, always a pleasure. Say hello to Gillian for me when he comes back! Huh? <laughs> um... Please come again. Phew, all done! You want to stay here? Seems like the street's quite restless. Uh, thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah, I ordered a nano camo module from my apartment. It should be installed by now. <gasps> Ooh, isn't that a tad expensive? Yeah, to be honest, I asked my mum for it. She had been pestering me about what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. She's been asking that for four years now, and I've always said I was fine. So I took the chance and used her, uh, and asked her for it. Used up all the past gift. That's not how gift giving works, but okay. Although, I would love to be able to do that. I want a vibe. I, I, I might have mentioned to my mummy that I want a vibe and she's like can you do videos about it and I was like I would love to do videos about it um <laughs> I'd love uh I'd love a vibe that's like the thing that I want but literally do not need and literally have no reason or money to buy with myself that's that's how I just, uh, think of it anyway uh used up all the past gifts oh Feels a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like this when you're 27. Feels weird when you're 25. But it's it's nice. Gift giving and receiving. It's a nice tradition. Uh, I'm sure she doesn't mind. So, what will the nano camera module change for your apartment? I got the basic plan. Walls and one piece of cloth. So I pi uh, picked my kotatsu. I don't know what a kata kotatsu is. I will Google it, but I'm sure... Um, Comments? Someone tell me what a katatsu is? You know what a katatsu What? Oh, uh... Oh, okay, please... I mean, futons are common knowledge, but a katatsu, not so much. Days get cold when the heater might not be enough. And the jet Whoa, fuck! That was the bit that explained it, didn't it? Okay, maybe it wasn't the mouse that I changed. Hmm, okay. I need to be less quick on the trigger. I want to see how you decorate the place with that. Let's plan a day to grab a beer, yeah? <gasps> Are you finally going on a date with your boss? No more dancing. I'm tired. What do we do with her? 
I'll take care of everything, don't worry. Oh, Dana. You're good. You're good at this for letting my mind ease about these things, especially because the girl's annoying. God, who who likes people that stream? Those people suck. All right, sorry for leaving her like this. No problem. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. Woo! Get a nice wall pattern or something for you. Oh, she gives us tips. I love that. And it's always a nice message. Anyway, we are actually doing quite well, unless $2,900 is not a lot. Anyway, we made no mistakes, which I think that's wrong. That's definitely wrong. Uh, <laughs> Um, flawless service bonus? I just don't know. Uh, hmm. Anyway, I have no new reminders or notifications. I want to buy a fan, but we will do that next time. But until then, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, then subscribe. And if you want to support me while I do stuff like this, then I have a Patreon. But until next time, don't know what I'm doing with my hands, must death.